Hello engineers welcome back in SCR series the fourth video is on SCR pressure difference control engineers i will explain the SCR working in a simple line diagram as shown so then you will understand better what is SCR pressure difference control when engine is running when you start the SCR the RSV RSV the reactor sealing valve opens the RTV starts to open slowly to heat up the SCR reactor at the same time this RTV the RTV will ensures that sufficient exhaust energy is available to turbocharger once the reactor is heated up fully and temperature comes sufficient the RTV opens fully the RBV starts to close now the turbocharger is getting the exhaust gas through the SCR reactor it is like the exhaust gas goes to the exhaust gas receiver from there it goes to vaporizer by mixture from there it comes to SCR reactor through the reactor throttle valve it comes to the turbocharger and goes out this pressure difference control is only for SCR lines and SCR components now the question is what is SCR lines and what are the SCR components the SCR lines are the lines which is the after the RSV and before the RTV whatever the lines which is present in between these are called the SCR lines so whatever components are present in this line is called SCR components at any given condition the scr pressure should not increase the descent pressure of this scr line and scr components now the question comes how the scr line pressure will exit when the reactor sealing valve and reactor throttle valve are closed that means when the engine was in tier 2 operations the scr system contains venting system sur blowing system and atomizing air for urea and engine exhaust any of this system leaks the scr pressure will rise so to ensure the scr pressure is always kept below the maximum allowable pressure the pressure level is controlled using the scr over pressure limit valve this is a scr over pressure limit valve a a and two three by two way valves b and c and one rsv the system activates the opening of rsv in case of excessive pressure over the rtv from the scr system to the exhaust gas receiver when the excess pressure builds up in the scr lines the rsv will open when i will explain how this rsv will work the rsv is reactor sealing valve this rsv will contains three valves two 3 by 2 way valve b and c and one 5 by 2 way valve d this 5 by 2 way valve d contains solenoid valve which gets a signal from the mop for open and close this 5 by 2 way valve d has a control over b and c when the pilot air when the pilot air through scr over pressure limit valve a is available to b and c when the pilot air is available to b and c the 5 by 2 way valve decides to open or close rsv through c and b when the open signal comes from the mop the open solenoid valve activates in the d and the control air 7 bar goes to the open side of the rsv through the c when the close signal comes from mop the close solenoid valve activates in the d this controller from the d goes to the close side of rsv through b when the scr over pressure limit valve a triggers because of pressure difference over the rtv 
P1 and P2, this A will cut off the pilot air which is available to B and C. When the pilot air to B and C cuts off, the D doesn't have control over B and C. <coughs> One separate line 7 bar is connected to C when this pilot air cuts off to open the RSV. Engineers, for your better understanding, I will explain this pressure difference control in the place of RSV. This is the 5 by 2 way wall D and this is a solenoid wall and that is a control air 7 bar available to 5 by 2 way wall. This is the wall B and C which is having the pilot air from the pressure SIR pressure control wall A. From this 5 by 2 way wall the opening air and closing air to the RSV goes through B and C. Once this pilot air cuts off to B and C, the B 5 by 2 way wall doesn't have a control over B and C. So one more separate line is coming to C to open the RSV. SCIO pressure limit wall has 5 ports. This is port 5 this is uh, two three four one they are also numbering here one two three four five so engineers i hope you understand the importance of rsv wall pressure limit wall this wall has to function properly to cuts of the pilot air to the RSV so that the RSV will open in case of SCR line is over pressurized. When the RSV opens in case of excessive pressure in the SCR line, a mass flow of air from the SCR will expand in the exhaust gas receiver. This resulting pressure buildup in the exhaust gas receiver must be controlled to avoid the inappropriate scavenge air backflow and unwanted turbocharger disturbance. So the lower pressure difference setting in the SCR wall pressure limit wall will result in the more frequent RSV opening. A higher pressure difference setting in the SCR wall pressure limit wall will compromise the safety of the SCR system. So it is very important to adjust this SCR wall pressure limit wall so that the pressure difference between the SCR line and receiving pressure will never exceed the range. Mostly it is 0.5 to 0.8 bar. Thank you engineers for watching. Please share and subscribe.